topic. Um, well, we know a topic is landscapes, but we need to pick a subject. So, I have two two left. It's going to be a landscape, and then the other one would be a um, architecture scene. So I did green, I did, I haven't did any reds yet. So let's see if I can find something that's red. I did oranges, I did purples. Do I have anything on this list here that's besides this one? Maybe these rocks, let's see what that looks like. Can I open this in a new tab and it still shows up? Uh, let's see. Alright. Alright, so let's see if we open this up. Alright, let's go here. Let's see if we can open that up. Does, does it show up over here? Yeah, it does. Okay. So now this one is in the original size. So we're going to zoom out here. And now we can go ahead and get started. So this one I'm hoping to be quick since I spent half of the stream already on uh, doing a draw or, or paint over. Let's go ahead and get started. my windows around so I can get be able to see everything all right so so what we're going to do is we need to set up our palette we're going to try and make this quick I know we got some reds in here let's drop that in there uh, like we got some blues maybe closer to purple so we're going to say uh, let's see okay we'll go with that and we have some brown so we can go here to red maybe have a little bit more yellow in there and it looks like we have some desaturated desaturated browns let's see what that looks like uh, maybe a little bit more gray that might work I'm gonna go a little bit lighter a little bit more right here mm, that might work a little bit lighter. Oh. Okay, it might work for the water. All right, so what other colors we have? Look like a really light red. Maybe closer to yellow. Over here. I would try that. All right, so we're gonna use those as the base colors for now. Let's go ahead and add our layer here for get our base in here. So what we want to do is let's start out with sky. Let's make this large. I think I'm making this too wide. Let me turn on my background for you up here. Because this is narrow. I'm going to pull you. Wait a minute. You need to go about right here so I can see my swatches. And let's lock you. Alright, so 
Next thing is we're going to do the bottom. Let me make sure this is opaque enough. All right, so next thing is we're going to go. Is that blue or red? It has a red hue. You know what? We'll just go with the. We'll do the rocks. We'll do the rocks next, and then we'll do the water. All right. So now let's do the water. Uh, looks like the water goes up. Is that 75%? No, that's about 55% of the image. So we're going to go with this one. And this would be half out here. So we're going to go about. Keep it light. All right, we'll go all the way down. And we can always bring that back. So I'm going to add a little purple in here. And let's add a little, make that a little bit more blue. Okay, that might work. So we need to bring this up. Uh, let's see. It's about 55, about right there. And then we have this red. That's too, too deep. Um, we need that to be a little less strong. Um, more towards it's still too strong let's go ahead and desaturate it a little bit well, that looks close but it's the amount of paint might be too much All right, that's all right, that looks better. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with the clouds. The clouds are have like a pinkish hue. So we're gonna pull this up a little bit. Make that more red. Now let's blend that a little bit. All right, go back over here. Is that the right one? Nope. It's this one. No, that's not it either. Oh, it's this one. Okay. There's three different gouache brushes, so it's throwing me off. Alright, so we're going to add a little bit of purple back. We need in between. Let me grab this color here. And you get like a little gradient thing going on here. All right, so we need this, and we need it to be brighter. Uh, so we go here. It needs to be more yellow. Make this smaller. All right, so we're going to start with this color here just to get the big shape in. Um, I 
I'm not going to worry about it going into the mountain here. I need to get these shapes in here. So I actually I'll probably just go ahead and paint all this in with this light color here. Just push it all the way over. And let's see. Come in here with some of this. I just put that there for placement and then I'll go back over that with a lighter version of that. Let's see, does this go all the way over here? Look like it does. Then it gets lighter here. So I come back to that. Let me make sure I got all this red in here. All this reddish color. Okay, so uh, let's add some of this red in here. So I'm gonna go here. All right, so now all I'm trying to do is sketch out where I think these little shapes are something like that's closer than the way I have it so I'll just paint that back alright so I think I'm gonna leave those for a glow because it has sort of like a glow effect on the, on the clouds a little bit. Now it feels like based on what I'm doing now, um, the picture is not wide enough. So let me just remove this for now. I think, can I stretch this? I'm going to, let's try this frame here. And let's move this frame over. Uh, let's see. Got to move this down here. And let's see. We're going to need less of the mountain and more of this left side. So I'm going to grab this. I'm transform that and select that and mark that now and let's go back over here paint and push that back over Okay, I don't know what happened there. Something happened. Oh, I got a follow. Uh, let me see, who is that? Can't see, I got so many windows here. Let me look here. All right, I'm horrible at this. I'm gonna have to figure this out. Hold on a second. Refresh this. I can see who follow me. Okay, it didn't say. All right, Streamlabs, we're going to have to figure this out. So I want to thank whoever followed me. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm still getting used to I just set that up so I can see the followers now. Thanks for whoever followed me. I can't see it. It didn't show me. It went away. Probably have to set a timer so I can see that. Matter of fact, let me see if it shows up over here. Nope, it doesn't. Oh well. My apologies. I do thank you for following. Okay, so let's continue. 
All right, so now uh, where do I leave off at? Okay, I need to push this up a little bit. Now we're gonna create this. So like, I don't know if I wanna call it a crown. Am I getting this? I do have this brush selected. Oh, okay, it's really small. I didn't even see that. I must have changed it at some point and didn't see it. Make this smaller. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna outline this a little bit. It's not gonna be perfect, but is just to give the idea. Uh, this goes up, up. Well, even I come over here, get off of this table. Keep Sorry, this little kitten boy. Yeah. I wasn't doing none of this earlier. When I wasn't streaming, I think they know. I think pets know. Let's wait right good and well until I start streaming. Start popping on stuff. Break my flow, kitty cat. All right, so what I'm going to do here is just add in this light blue. That's the only other color I just saw now that I didn't see before. So I like just creating these cracks. Let's see if that's it. That looks pretty close. So it's right here on this edge. It's creating like a uh, V shape almost. I want to say, hope I got it in the right spot. Just gotta kind of sketch this in. Again, it's not the easiest thing to do, but once you get it down, it's a lot faster as far as the workflow. Just gonna take some time to master. That's why I'm practicing it. I think it can be fun and then it can make your paintings be a lot looser. Uh, maybe even give it more energy. So, So what I'm gonna do is this is a little intense. Since I got this color in here now I can. So now what I can do is where this peep peep through at, I can use this same color since it's here and now. Uh, matter of fact, while I'm doing this, let me jump over here and add this as a swatch. So if I need to, I can always go back to it. Alright, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more here this and I'm gonna come back and let me use my blender real quick just to push this in the background and now I'm gonna come back to my brush now that is not the right brush let me use my gouache brush here because this one has a rough texture applied to it This is going to give me so sort of like a fuzzy look. This is clouds. Clouds should be fuzzy. Alright, so I'm going to leave this there right now. Still really, really rough. But uh, I 
actually let me go ahead and flare this out a little bit more since I got this brush selected and this um, sunlight it's well it's more like a dawn light but it's still sun it has ribbons going on here so this was gonna I might even use the oil brush for this because this is gonna smear I don't know if this wash is gonna work for this but I'm just gonna go ahead and actually let's switch over to it right now where right, yeah we're gonna use this one here I can go bigger still not big enough all right so it's gonna take you all the way here we can always add back the uh, the mountain part and let's go ahead and do this for the ocean I hope this is the ocean all right so now what we're going to do is we need to add in a little bit of this here I'm just gonna make this pretty big and pull this in. Alright, so this has a little red in it. I'm gonna use this color here. Let's see, I'm gonna use this gouache brush here. too big Alright, so that's not light enough. We're gonna make it all the way desaturated. We need to get like a color that's in between. I think that might be it. It's gotta be in between this brown color. That seems to be a color that's sort of like coming off this these rocks let's pull we're going to go here back to our gouache press so now we got some of that underlying color it'll sort of like blend in I'm gonna stay in this brown right here until I'm ready to add. Until I'm ready to add the um, darker colors.
feels like this is not out for it enough. save the misty bits uh, let me go here and unlike this I'm going to go on here move you over some more I think I need more of this because I'm seeing uh, you know what? I think I can have these for now. Alright, so I think I got most of this blocked in. Let me go ahead and 
paint this over here since I had added more of this in. Well, technically it is going to look incomplete because it's far from done, but all right, so this is semi blocked in, I would say. Let me go ahead. So it's always good to look for shapes in what you are drawing. I can see with this mountain here, I got sort of like a a uh, really pronounced um, brow here, and then it goes in to like a little eye then the nose comes out so it's kind of shallow but it's pointed and in actuality this goes down a little bit more where the nose is but I can fix that later Then we have I'm going to use my squash brush here because this has a, a higher setting right now than the other one as far as the opaqueness. I'm going to bring this all the way down, maybe to about here, then bring this out. Get this a little bit steeper. Then we have I have all that I need right now for this 